with that is one sexy detail skin and I'm your boy Squints and today I'll be showing you exactly how to set this up. First off I gotta thank Smokio over on the subreddit for WoW UI that ended up making this skin. First off we're gonna head over to this URL and you can find it in the description below. Next you're going to want to click this link and this link and make sure to open them up in new tabs. First we're gonna head to the textures which is through Google Drive and make sure you download this entire folder. And if you don't have it already you're going to want to head over to CurseForge or open your CurseForge app and download shared media. Once you've done that, find your downloads folder where you installed the texture file and make sure you extract it. Once you extract it, just keep this window open because we're going to come back to it later. Next, you're going to want to open a new file explorer window and locate where you have World of Warcraft installed. For me, it's in Program Files 86, World of Warcraft, then head to the Retail folder, Interface, Add-ons, and then scroll all the way down until you find Shared Media. Open that bad boy up, and then you want to click View at the top of this window and check off File Name Extensions. Now you should see a MyMedia.Bat.Text, and you're going to want to right-click, rename that, and just delete the dot text. Hit yes. Next, you're going to want to double click on that dot bat and it should open a command prompt and run a little script. Once you see that, you can close out the window, head back to your add-ons and you should now see a new folder called shared media underscore my media. Open that folder up. From here, you're going to want to open up the status bar folder and then bring up that window where you ended up extracting all the texture files. Now you're going to want to drag and drop every single texture file except the one named spec underscore icons underscore normal underscore alpha 2 dot TGA. This might be the last one in your list, but bring every single texture over into the status bar folder except for that. Next, you're going to want to navigate back to your add-ons folder and go back to shared media and reopen that my media dot bat file. Once again, it's going to run a script, let it run, and once it's done, you can close out the window. And for the final step, you're going to want to head back to your interface folder, and then you're going to want to drag and drop the spec underscore icons underscore normal into that folder. Leave it there, and now you're able to close out all the windows. And before we open up the game, you're going to want to head back to that Wago link, scroll down to the detailed profile export for skin number one, open that up, copy and paste the import skin, and then and you can head in to World of Warcraft. Now, once you're in the game, head over to wherever you have details open and click the little gear icon to bring open the settings window. Head over to the profiles section, click import profile, and then you're gonna wanna copy and paste everything you just took from that URL. Hit okay, name this whatever you would like. I'm gonna name it Blizz style, and then hit okay. Once you do that, you should see the skin basically almost complete somewhere on your UI. I'm dragging it to the center so you can see it, and then you're gonna wanna open the settings once again and head over to bars general. Once you're in this setting page, you're looking for custom texture file, and you're going to want to backspace everything all the way up until the slash where the word interface starts. Keep that slash right after interface and then you're going to want to type this spec underscore icons underscore normal underscore alpha 2 dot TGA and once you do that bam you should have the skin fully complete with the rounded icons in the blizzard art style all set for you to do whatever you'd like in game you can make new windows move the windows around play with any settings from there that you'd like but this is how you get that detail skin in game and it just looks magnificent. Now I hope this helped you guys set up this skin because it is freaking amazing and I love using it and I love how it blends into basically the default UI. If you have any questions let me know in the comments below or you can head over to the discord and ask me there as well and don't forget if this video helped you out and you're gonna check out this skin let me know in the comments below and don't forget to punch that like button, kiss that subscribe button, and tickle my bell if you want to stay up to date with any other tips, tricks, zero to hero challenges, and all the other good jazz I have coming out on the channel. Thanks so much, guys, and enjoy, and of course, do some big damage for your boy. Peace!